Alright guys, we are testing out the 4K. So let me know in the comments if you if you think it looks any different or better. I don't I really don't know anyone that has a 4K TV or a 4K monitor, so you'll have to tell me if it looks any better. All I know is it takes up more space. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna be doing the how to rattle can and it's pretty basic. There's just a couple of steps that will really make the difference. Obviously prepping is one of them. You want to wet sand with a very high grit sandpaper so that it takes everything down to a real smooth surface and preps the paint so that the paint will stick perfectly. Next, obviously you tape everything off that you don't want painted and paper the windshields and stuff like that. And then we're going to paint and we'll go over exactly the technique to get the smoothest paint job with rattle can. First and foremost is the paint. They have this 2X double coverage Rust-Oleum. It's great for the fact that it's Rust-Oleum because if there's any metal areas, it's going to treat them so they don't rust. If they are rusty already, it's going to prevent them from rusting further, and it's double coverage. So for the price of one can, you're getting twice the coverage of, that you'd normally get because this is like $389. So obviously by the Rust-Oleum 2 coverage, that's going to be your best bet. So we're going to get to taping and painting. All right, so once you get everything papered off that you do not want paint on, and that's really as simple as it gets. Everybody kind of makes a big deal about taping and papering, but see like here, we forgot the blinkers. So we're gonna tape those off. Yep. And then paper the whole top because it's gonna stay all glass and gloss black. And then the mirrors, any emblems, don't forget fog lights. Now we can start painting. Now on the areas where you have really rough spots, you wanna get some automobile primer, like a self-leveling or even etching primer. And then that will take away all these like bubbly areas that even though we sanded, they didn't get very smooth. And that'll prevent you from having imperfections that show through in the paint. So you definitely wanna sand as good as possible and then prime it and then you can start painting. So we primed the areas that had a high relief so that now it won't be as obvious and then we can start with the black. The key to this is to either start at the bottom of the top and work your way across the car in one fluid motion. That way everything stays wet and it all dries together. You'll kind of see what I mean as I start here. You're gonna wanna overlap the stripes so that each stripe has wet blending over wet, but not enough to get run. So you need about six to eight inches away from the car and a fluid smooth motion. Get a piece of cardboard or even another piece of metal or a spare part if you have one to kind of practice on and get the fluid motion back and forth down before you start. And that'll help out a lot. See how it all stays wet. We've got, got a couple of runs there, so we know we need to move a little faster with the hand. have any streaks you go right back over them while it's still wet and then if you do it nice and smooth all over this is what you end up with nice satin black shouldn't have any runs or rough spots and then you can put everything back together all right and all the tracks and stuff they'll kind of mellow out as it cures the the paint kind of settles after a day or so but definitely looks better than it did now you just need some window tint yeah <laughs> definitely blacked out then huh. all right that looks hot yeah so yeah guys comment below what you think of the 4k if you think it looks good, I don't have a 4K TV, so I can't tell you. Somebody out there has got a 4K television. Let me know what it looks like. 
and then um yeah like if you liked subscribe if you want keep modding